Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, sad news. Lisa Marie Presley died today. She was 54. So she is the daughter, a daughter of Elvis Presley. Uh, what? She attended the ceremony of uh, uh, her dad's, uh, how should I put it, uh, birthday uh, celebration on uh, the 8th of January at Graceland and now she had uh, she uh, got into a cardiac arrest and she died 54 years old Elvis died at 42 and Liz and uh, Priscilla Presley is gonna be 1000 years old anyway uh, let's see what's going on here I mean basically we know what's going on but let's go over uh, what happened this article comes from Los Angeles Times and obviously it's from today the 12th of January 2023. Lisa Marie Presley, singer and daughter of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, dies at 54. Lisa Marie Presley, the only child of Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley, who helped oversee her famous father's estate and pursued a music career of her own, has died. She was 54. Priscilla Presley confirmed her daughter's death in a statement Thursday evening. And I'm quoting, it is with a heavy heart that I must share the devastating news that my beautiful daughter Lisa Marie has left us. Uh, Presley said in a statement provided to the Associated Press, she was the most passionate, strong and loving woman I have ever known. End quote. Lisa Marie Presley suffered cardiac arrest at a home near Calabasas. At a home near Calabasas. Thursday, a source familiar with the incident told the Times she collapsed and had trouble breathing. Emergency personnel responded to a 10.37 a.m. call at the home of Las Virgenes Road, L.A. County Fire Department Captain Sheila Callihar confirmed to the Times Presley was then transported to West Hill Hospital. Born in Memphis, Tennessee on February 1, 1968, Presley lived more of her, most of her life in the spotlight. Her father's fans closely followed the details of her birth, the blah, 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 blah. She had uh, a few uh, husbands, Michael Jackson, Nicolas Cage, uh, and the only chi child Presley spent her childhood youth between two households, her father's Graceland Mansion in Memphis and her mother's home in Las, Los Angeles after they divorced in October 1973. When her father died of cardiac arrhythmia on August 16, 1977, Presley became the only heir, heir to the Massive Estate. Massive Estate was almost bankrupt. The Massive Estate, when Elvis died, I think from my knowledge, had about $5 million in 1977. Now, $5 million in 1977 was not that much money. It's true that the income was coming, but too much was going, if you know what I mean. So a lot of people say, well, Elvis eventually would have ended up bankrupt. I don't know if he would have ended up bankrupt because all the movies, all the revenues would have still keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. But anyway, um, he left uh, Priscilla in charge in, 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 um, in his will and she took over the uh, Elvis Presley enterprises and uh, I think that's how the yeah, enterprises and she with some l smart investors and lawyers they open up Graceland and they turn from 5 million into multi-million business. Good, good, good. I've been to Graceland, obviously. Anyway, so um, Presley became the only heir, heir to the massive estate, including his beloved Tennessee home. Her mother, the, an executor, co-founder, co-founded Elvis Presley's Enterprises, which helped turn Graceland from an overgrown burden to a lucrative tourist attraction. Yep, that's true. And I'm quoting, I appreciate that I can have that part of my life always stay the same. Lisa Marie told uh, NPR in 2013, and I'm quoting again, I think that's something a lot of people would love to have. Your childhood home kept exactly the way it was. It's heartwarming. In 1988, she married aspiring musician Danny Cannock, a Cannock in a small private ceremony at Church of Scientology, Hollywood headquarters. They welcome daughter, really, Keogh and son Benjamin Keogh before divorcing in 1994. 
before their separation, Presley became eligible to receive her father's fortune in 1993. Instead of inheriting the funds, she created the Elvis Presley Trust to continue the management of his estate alongside multiple trustees, according to Graceland. So, uh, her, her fourth and final marriage was, was to get guitarist, and, guitarist, guitarist and producer Michael Lockwood in 2006. In 2008, Presley welcomed twin girls, Harper and Finley, with her fellow Storm and Grace musician. Uh, well, she divorced this guy, this guy as well. Unfortunately, um, I don't know how the thing was. The couple divorced in 2016, 16, and her divorced paper Presley, she announced that she was $16 million in debt. Two years later, she filed a $100 million lawsuit against former business manager Barry Siegel for mismanaging her finances. When it came to music, Presley look, looked to define her own path. Well, let's see what else is here with... Uh, uh, she said that she was seen in public at re as recently as Tuesday when she attended the Glo Golden Globe Awards in Beverly Hills, where she joined actor Austin Butler during a red carpet interview. Butler later won the Golden Globe for actor in emotion, blah, 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 blah ah, for playing Elvis Presley's father in uh, the recent film Elvis. Um, I don't think that the actor did a good job, but I mean, he did a good job. I didn't watch the movie, I watched only excerpts. Uh, that's my, it was a, okay, but uh, I'm, I liked uh, the colonel more than Elvis in that movie because the colonel was evil and funny, uh, which was Tom Hanks playing the colonel. Uh, anyway, so, um, how should I say? Uh, now they finally rejoined uh, one another, and uh, I'm, I don't want to say anything stupid, obviously, but I think that he's uh, sad that she died, but happy that she is with him now, I hope. Um, what can I say? We come and go, uh, we don't know when. Um, unfortunately, I think she was uh, too, way too young, but you know, we always try to cling to life uh, the older we get and uh, even if a person dies at 98 uh, we still think oh my god uh, still young or something well we don't want to die do we and uh, if we uh, if that happens we want to do it uh, or at least uh, most heroically as possible at least that's my wish i don't want to die i don't want to say in vain but like uh, you know anyway it's not about me it's about lisa marie and uh, can you imagine what kind of life she had? I mean, I'm, yeah, I can I mean, it's just uh, being surrounded by all these people, all the doors being open for you. Uh, I don't think she she had a, uh, a psychologically rewarding life uh, because I know she uh, struggled with drugs and she got, what, six marriages or so. I can't remember how many children she had. And I think another child of hers di died last year sometime. I think another child died a few years ago. So um, I don't know what to say, but Priscilla got her claws on life and she's not gonna let go. And you're good for her. What? Uh, I don't have too much uh, love for her uh, at all, I would say. But hey, that's what it is. Uh, you do what you can do and uh, you um, carve your own path and uh, you follow you and you create your own destiny so i guess that's what she did that's what he did and uh, uh you can't regret uh after you you know die because uh, <laughs> there's no one to regret anymore uh, you did what you could with your life 54 the other guy 42 i mean at 42 is really i've been 42 so really it just it seems like you just accumulate you got to a point where you accumulate and say, now I'm ready to, for fight or something. I'm ready to, to take on life. At least, uh, you know, that's how I felt. But uh, Elvis, obviously, was 42 too early, too soon, too soon. I mean, I'm looking at his friend, Tom Jones, who's like, he's, uh, what, 83. It's going to be this year, I think, 83, right? He was born 1940, in the 7th of June. <laughs> so, he's still there, he still sings, he still does what he does best 
and he's there and uh, you know that guy was with alcohol and women the other guys were other stuff so it seems like uh, if you if you keep alcohol and women by you and cigars uh, then you're good to go <laughs> uh, and you look at the rolling stones as well those guys again are 1000 years old and uh, three of the four beetles i uh, know two of the of the two of the four beetles are dead and they were the nice guys right ringo star and uh, mccartney are still alive uh, <laughs> and they were the good guys now rolling stones all those you know i think only the drummer died only the drummer died. look at acdc again crazy guys uh, putting aside bon scott right who died poor guy uh, alcohol and ingestion and cold and all that all those things in a car remember bon scott then uh, you got um, uh, angus young's brother i can't remember his name again boom died but rolling stones are still going i know brian johnson um uh, not brian johnson uh, uh mick jagger still wants to tour or something anyway Ozzy Osbourne is still alive. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, and probably you can give me 1,000 examples of druggies and all that. Still alive, still there. Uh, but this guy dies at 42, she dies at 4, uh, 54. Michael Jackson dies at what? Well, again, 54, 53, 50 something. Prince dies again, something again. What's going on here? I mean, it's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I gotta go up there and have a talk with this guy. What's going on? Anyway. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, well, rest in peace and, uh, I don't know, have fun with your dad and whomever is over there. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.